Welcome to Replo 101 Part 2. By the end of this video, you will have a fully functioning page built in Replo that you can actually use to drive traffic and grow your Shopify sales. We're going to cover things such as setting up your first page, adding and editing elements, using the template library, and using Replo AI to make building your page much faster. If you're just tuning in, this is part two, and you can click here to access part one to make sure you understand all the basics of Replo. Before we get started, I'm gonna call out that we're going to be making a listicle today. And the reason why is that it's the lowest of the low hanging fruit when it comes to optimizing your e-commerce funnel. It is a pre-sale page, which means that it comes before the purchase. It's something that educates buyers and gets them excited about your brand and your product. It's something that's easy to digest. You can think of this as three reasons why. It's the old school BuzzFeed format, but specifically around your product or offer. And lastly, it can be plugged into any funnel. It can be plugged into your retention funnel. It can be plugged into your new customer acquisition. It can be used in email. It can be used in ads. The listicle is the most versatile type of page, and that's why we're gonna be building one today. All right, let's get started with our build. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start from a blank page. And to do that, we're gonna go over to all pages. We're gonna click on create new and click blank page. I'm gonna call this new page one. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna hide the themes header and footer. We're pulling this from Shopify and we're gonna hide the announcement bar. It's also coming from Shopify's theme. Create page and we're left with a blank canvas. This is our basic workspace. As I said in the intro, the easiest way for us to get started is by building a listicle page. And we're going to do that in two ways. We're gonna build this using both page templates and section templates. First, let's get the base of our listicle put together. We're gonna to go over to insert and pages and we're gonna find listicles and we're going to select the outweigh listicle. We're gonna add that to the page. And then we have this element here and you can see that you're seeing it on both desktop and mobile. You can see the property section over here that shows you all of the fine uh, adjustments. The great part about Replo is that you can get pixel perfect design. So if you wanna have very specific margin and padding, you can do all of those things here. But if you're completely new to building on the web or building on Shopify, you don't have to worry about that right now. All of our templates come already optimized for desktop, tablet, and mobile. So this is the base of our listicle. We've got a small hero section, the listicle content, which is three reasons why, and then some testimonials. But let's make this better. We're gonna add two sections. The first thing that we're gonna do do is we're going to add a hero section and to do that we're going to add it from a section template back in the insert tab we're going to section templates and we're going to click on hero and we're going to use the setu hero section for now and hit add that's going to bring you to the bottom of the page since it's the hero section the very first thing that customers are going to see we want this to be at the top of the page in order for us to do that we are going to actually go into the layers tab and we're going to drag this all the way to the top and make sure that it's pulled to the left you can see as you're adjusting that little black line could be shorter and what you could, what that means is you're able to put it inside of another container but for now we want it to be as far left as possible so it's its own container and that is going to rearrange the page. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to quickly update the hero section with the right copy. And I just want to copy and paste this content. So you can click into this text box and actually use your keyboard shortcuts, or you can come into the property section here into this text box, select all the copy, and use the keyboard shortcut to copy. Once you grab that text, you can come in here, you can select all the text and paste. And again, as I said, you can also do so in the right panel. Since our product is actually a cherry cola, I'm gonna quickly select this text and change socks to cola. Because we added this hero section with an image, which is always more powerful than having just a hero section with text, um, I'm actually gonna get rid of this hero section. So I'm gonna select this and I can also select it directly from the layers panel, but I can select this element and I'm just gonna hit the delete button on my keyboard. And just like that, it's gone. So we have the hero section and then we go right into the listicle section and then we have the testimonial, testimonial section at the bottom. Now, this page isn't done. Before we make any of the updates, we need to add one more section, and that is the product box. This is where people are able to buy the specific product that you're promoting. So let's go back to the insert section templates, and we're going to click on the products filter. And we're going to scroll down and we're actually gonna find this one right here, the Dr. Squatch product detail section, and we're gonna hit add. And just as before, it's gonna to add to the bottom of the page. Now what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna actually grab this section, you can see here, and we're going to move it 
inside this container, which is our listicle container, and we're gonna drop it right above the listicle section. So we moved it in the layers panel and we got to the exact spot. And the reason why we did that is because this blue bar and this testimonial section are actually inside of another container. As you work in REPL, you'll get more and more familiar and we'll have some other videos that go to greater depth here. But for the purpose of this video, as we speed run through building your first page, this is just something to keep in mind. We're ready to update the content on this page. The first thing is I wanna use the AI copy feature to update everything on this page to reflect my cola. So I'm going to hit the page button and I'm gonna come and use Replo AI, use update text, and I'm gonna write rewrite this page copy for my cherry cola. And if you go into details, you can add in more information about your brand, your product, you can actually have it cite information directly from URL. But for now, this is all I'm gonna give it, hit enter. And what Replo AI is gonna do is it's going to rewrite all of the text on the page specifically for each of those sections and it's going to tie it directly to my product. This makes setting up a new page much faster, taking a template off the shelf and redoing it for your brand. Now that it's done, we can just go ahead and hit accept. And if we zoom in, we can see that better for you, unlike traditional sodas, Repello Cherry Cola, which is the brand name, which I didn't even say in my initial prompt, just pulling from the site. And it just references all these things, perfect refreshment, but still sewing all this content for stuff that isn't for me. So let's go ahead and make the next thing that we do, updating all of the images on this page. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this hero image, we're gonna click on this, and as you can see, it's reflecting both on desktop and, and mobile. If I had tablet toggled on as well, you could see it reflected here, but for now, I'm just gonna show desktop and mobile. Let's click on this image and we're gonna come over here and click on this little icon. There's a couple different ways you can update the image inside of Replo. The first thing, let's go ahead and click change image. The first thing you can do is you can upload an image directly into our asset library. We've already uploaded this image and I'll just find it here in a second, but you can also paste in a URL of where this image might be sourced or you can pull directly from your Shopify theme if it's already inside the theme files. But for now, this is pulling from your Shopify files, your asset library and, and our uploader actually uploaded directly to Shopify and we're gonna go ahead and select this cherry cola image voila all right so that's image one let's update image two next thing we want to do come in here same thing as before let's click on this button and maybe I want to make it just a little smaller so I can actually grab some of these boxes and compress this a little bit and it'll resize accordingly we've updated the images on the page and this is a much more branded experience thanks for watching part two of Replo 101 in the next video we're going to cover all the things you need to do to customize your buy box and publish your first page. We'll see you in there.